Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sitting down and I'm going to be reviewing two very closely priced, very, very closely compared products. And I have actually both of them. These are both illuminizers for the skin. They are both highlighters. They work to add that glow. And I'm speaking about number one, the Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. Of course, one of their best sellers. So this is the first product. And I'm comparing this today with the Max Pro Pre, which is one of their best selling products. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing both of them and I'm going to be telling you what exactly should you go for because I've been using this for the past eight months. I got this last December and I got this literally one and a half years ago. So I have had more experience with this one. And I personally used this one more especially during summers, but I'm just going to tell you everything about both of these and who shall actually use this one and who shall get this one. So without any further issues, without any further delay, let's begin with the video. So what I'll do right now is I'll do my makeup. I will use this one on this side and I'll use the flawless filter on the right side and I'm going to be showing you all the results and I'm going to show you what exactly is the difference. So let's begin. So I have moisturized and primed my face right now and I'm going to be starting with the stroke cream on the left side and then we'll basically, you know, add the foundation and the concealer and I'll show you what exactly it is all about. So I'll take this much on my palm. So first difference is this product actually does not have, this has a very light tint. This, this is pink light. So like they have quite a few shades. Uh, this is like a very like, uh, not very prominent tint. I personally did not really feel the difference. I've also tried gold light. So you are not really going to get a very big difference of tint or color. But with the Flawless Filter, it's actually a pigmented product. So you need to make sure that you get your shade matched. So this is exactly what my face looks like with the stroke cream. You can already see the difference. It's a lot more glowy as compared to this side. Uh, so you can see that, uh, you know, reflection, just look at that. So I want to, I want to tell you all something. I got the strobe cream in pink light. There are a few other shades. So the strobe cream is available in India in like three shades. You have pink light, you have peach light and you have gold light. This one is the pink light and this one is retailing for 3400 rupees and we have the peach light and gold light retailing for 3600 rupees. Well, honestly, I, I actually do not see a very crazy pink tint. So you are not really going to find a big of a difference with the shades. So that's just the reality. However, this one is a pigmented product. So obviously this I'm going to be applying right now. I'm going to show you. This is actually dark for my skin, but I have to get it for my mom as well. Like we both use it. So obviously I actually settle it down. But just look at so much pigment it has. It has definitely that depth and that shade matching thing is obviously there. I'm not going to use a lot. You definitely need very little amounts of this product because this product is very pigmented and it is very, very heavy it has a heavy consistency it's an oily product i would say this so first thing is if you have dry skin and if you always always you know want this wet effect i would suggest if you want that heavy feeling i would suggest you go for the flawless filter because the flawless filter provides you can just look at the wet feeling here uh, obviously there's a color difference uh, this one is like a little dark because the shade did not match me but you know this one really has that heavy effect on you so if you want that heaviness you should go for this one okay so i've used quite a lot already um the left one was the stroke cream the right one was the flawless filter and first impressions what are you all thinking so notice how like shiny this one is very reflective and this side is, I don't know why, for me, this side, like the flawless filter one looks very like oily, whereas this one looks natural. That's my observation. Of course, it's subjective. And that's one of the reasons why I use the this one a lot more as compared to this one. But yeah, that's my observation. What, what do you all actually think? I'm going to be adding my comments later, but first, let me layer up with all the products. Okay, so let me just finish up with my foundation real quickly. Uh, I don't want to like delay the entire process of this makeup. I'm not applying a lot because I don't just, I just want to show it to you all what it looks like. Let's blend this out.
All right, everyone. So I'm done with my face. I have definitely used foundation, concealer. I have set my face with the powder, and I've used my setting spray. Look at now. I'm just gonna tell you all the results from a distance, and I'll tell you what exactly it is all about. So yeah. Okay, starting with the left side. Do you see how dewy? By the way, this is the max side. Do you see how dewy the left side actually is? Um, this is the same foundation. I use the MAC foundation and I use a Maybelline concealer with powder. And just look at that. This side is officially so dewy, but so like smooth. I love it. But this side, on the other hand, I just want to show you all. This side looks oily for some reason. Just look at, I mean, this part, it looks oily and I did set it up with powder as well. But somewhere or the other, I definitely find it to be more oily as compared to this side. This side is a lot more natural than this one, but this is definitely giving you that glow. So I obviously have thoughts about this. If you're a person who likes to go for that natural glow, then the MAC Stroke Cream is for you. I am that kind of a person. I like this natural glow. I don't want this oiliness. So what does oiliness represent? This is heaven for people having dry skin. My mom, I use this one, but my mom is always dependent on this Traveler Tilbury's Flawless Filter because she has like dry skin. And she's always using this to make sure that the dewiness is on. Whereas I use this one because I have combination skin and during summers, this is not extremely heavy. This definitely puts a little bit of weight on, but not enough that you're gonna feel like things are going absolutely crazy. So this is not very heavy, this is not lightweight but not very very heavy but this manageable but this is very like natural and for my skin type or oily skin type this is really really going to be heaven for you all because this the weight is not there this does not add in any sort of shade so you don't really have to struggle with that everybody can just like go and buy it and for 3400 slash 3600 rupees there are dupes it's not that there are not dupes but if we are specifically speaking about these products I would personally use this one more. However, as I mentioned, the flawless filter is for people who have extremely dry skin. This definitely adds that like crazy, you know, shininess and this definitely adds Thorasa oil. So obviously if you have dry skin, you're gonna love this one. But if you want that naturalistic look, I think you're gonna like this one. So for me, I've always been a person who likes that natural glow, that natural shine. So I would definitely get this again. But this is again coming back to my family because my mom loves it. So obviously there's just no way. But yeah, I think I have been able to make myself clear. So for a regular usage, you're going to like this one more. So for like parties and stuff where it's going to be air conditioned, you're going to like this one more. Also, since this has like, like pigment, when you go out during summers and you sweat, this actually is going to come on your handkerchief. So this is going to stay in your handkerchief, whereas you have no issues with this one. So that's the thing. Both of these products are available in Nykaa. MAC is available in Nykaa everywhere. Charlotte will be the only true Nykaa. So these were my opinions on both of these products. 4,000, 3,600 flush, 3,400. So it depends on your needs, what you want to go for. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn the bell notification on for more of these videos.